Welcome back to another season of Friday Night Frights. I am your host, Count Vampire, and we have a special guest today, Scooby-Doo. Oh, Scooby-Doo, what are you dressed like? Turkey? He's dressed like a turkey. You were a month too early for that, my boy, but you do look tasty. Yeah, you're also Dracula. Oh, you're also Red Dracula. Good friend of mine he is. Okay, you could stick around. So Scooby and I are going to read a little bit to you from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, More Tales to Chill Your Bones, Book 3. As we do is every year. This is by Alvin Schwartz and the author is Stephen Gimmel. So let's get started. Boomin. The girl is late getting home for supper. So she took a shortcut through the cemetery, but, oh, it made her, her nervous. Of course it's going to make you nervous. You're in the cemetery. When she saw another girl walking ahead of her, she hurried to catch up. Do you mind if I walk with you? She asked. Well, walking through the cemetery at night scares me. I know what you mean, the other girl said. I used to feel that way myself when I was alive. <laughs> oh, that's a good joke on you. There are all sorts of these things that scare us. The, the dead scare us. For one day we were all dead. We will all be dead, like they are. I mean, it's inevitable. We all die one way or another. Unless you're luck lucky enough to get beat by a vampire. But even then, we can be destroyed. Okay. The dark scares us, for we don't know what is waiting in the dark. At night, the sound of leaves rustling or the branches groaning or somewhere with someone whispering makes us uneasy. So do footsteps coming closer. So do strange figures we think we see in the shadows. A human, maybe? Oh, yeah, a human in the shadow scares. Oh, goodness, I do not like when the humans lurk in the shadows. I think they have a steak dinner prepared for me. Or big, or a big animal, or some horrible thing that we could barely make make out. People call those creatures we think as we see boomin. We imagine them, but now, now and then, boomin turns out to be real. Look at me, I'm a boom man. I'm a boo man too. One of those creatures, yes, I already read that. What are happenings scare us too? We we hear of a boy or a girl who went Yeah, get my hair out of my mouth again. Who were raised by an animal or a human being like us who yelps and howls and runs on all fours. We hear of insects that make nests, nests in people's bodies or of nightmares that that comes trust in, that come true and we shudder. If sure things really do happen then they could happen to us. If such fears that's, and scary stories grow. 
It is from such fears that scary stories grow. Pardon me. The third book of such stories I have collected, I have learned that some of these people I have met found other tales that had been written down in folklore and archives and libraries. This was a little excerpt from Alvin Schwartz. As we always do and listen to tales we learn, I have told them in my own way. Okay, here we go. When death arrives, you could see the nice artwork. You can almost make out a skull right there. Is that a skull? I think so. The appointment. The 16-year-old boy worked on his grandfather's horse farm. One morning he drove a pickup truck down to town on an errand. While he was walking along the main street, he saw death. Death beckoned to him. The boy, he drove back to the farm as fast as he could. When his grandfather asked what happened, give, give me the truck, he begged. I'll go back to the city. He'll never find me there. His grandfather gave him the truck and the boy sped away. And after he left, his grandfather went in, into town to look for death. Why would you want to do that? Go in the town to look for a hot woman. Don't go in the town to look for death. My goodness. When he found him, he asked, Why did you frighten my grandson that way? He is only 16. He's, a, he's too young to die. Oh, I am sorry about that, said Death. Yeah, he, he does have good manners. I've met him. He, he, he's a good-mannered guy sometimes. I did not mean to beckon to him, but I was surprised to see him here. You see, I have an appointment with him this afternoon in the city. <laughs> I know that is great. That, oh, that's a story. Oh, I, I remember that. Oh, this is a joke that we used to tell in the pubs in Bucharest. Oh, my goodness, I forgot all about that one. Yes, that was so funny. Okay, so this was just a little prelude to what to expect this October. I pray you be patient with old vampire. Things have been a little bit challenging here lately. But thank you all for stopping by. And thank you for tuning in and for subscribing. And please share this channel with your friends. I would greatly appreciate it. You don't want me to show up and beckon you, would you? No, you wouldn't. So share this video or get bit. Okay. You guys, you take care, stay safe, remember. Be kind to everybody. Be kind to your puppies and your kitties. And remember, take good care of yourselves. Love yourself as much as you love others. You know, vampire, be kind to you too. So, thank you for stopping by. Have spooky dreams and stuff. Bye-bye.